He's making a move. He's in the blue sedan across the street. Punch it. Right, welcome back everyone. This is slow. And I am doing this right after the last one I did. Because I have a train of thought for the first time in forever. Or the maybe confidence maybe? I don't know. Anyway, here we go. Second mission in the game. And my mission objective is simply to keep up with this guy. Now, for only the second mission, this is actually kind of difficult if you haven't gotten used to the controls by this point. But, in general, this is only the first city, so for the most part you shouldn't expect things to be too hard. And this mission in particular isn't a hard. I'm probably just contradicting myself, haven't I, by saying that those random combinations of words, but you just need to keep a work guy here, at which point the game will auto finish for you. Now that seems like, despite the fact that we're literally right next to the guy, the cutscene makes us appear like 20 seconds later. And the cheeky bastard sneaks off onto the Chicago train system. We lost him. And already we we're on mission we'll three. And mission three has a pretty tricky start, as it throws us these. It's not particularly nice. The good thing about this mission is that if you look on the minimap there, uh, you can actually see where the train tracks are. So, if you just basically follow those tan lines and just ignore where the train is, you're generally going to be get there perfectly fine and you don't have to worry about actually staying behind to see where the damn thing goes. Which is also handy because there are several, well, two, maybe three, corridors like this which are full of stuff that you can accidentally wedge yourself onto and cause you to lose all speed and fail the mission. Yeah, if I just run out of things to say in these commentaries, I'm probably just going to stay quiet until something significant happens. Oh, that was mean. Yeah. In comparison to what I remember of the original driver, the traffic is going to make you fail missions a lot more often. Mm. Yeah. I'm gonna see that a lot later on. And I mean, like, much later on. But. Once we get here, the train stops and we have to yank ourselves out of the vehicle and thread ourselves up this slope. Like you can run up one of those at full speed without falling down. Okay, so now we have a cutscene. And there's a Minbari. I'll just shut up and let you listen to the interview. Pink Lenny and the dead guy with the marks. Start talking. I got nothing to say. I never figured Lenny'd be worth dying over. <clears throat> I, I just know Lenny used to work for Solomon Kane. I heard he kept Kane's books here and in Vegas. 
Then I hear Lenny's quit town. Damn, I thought you was Kane. Ooh, Kane? I heard only dead guys left that outfit. So what's with the guy with the marks? I never saw him in my life, but he was Brazilian. Lenny let it slip, and Brazilian's making a drop tomorrow at 10 a.m. Something real hot, heading out from Reisenbeck's. Man, I swear, I swear that's the crop. It sounds like our boy Pink Lenny's put himself in a situation somewhere between Kane and Vasquez. <laughs> One hell of a place to be. All guesses play even where well, Lenny's gonna show next. If Kane gets to him, Pink Lenny's gonna show up in pieces all over Illinois. That you? Yeah, well, you're late, you screw up. Bring the wheels to the alley. You sure no one's seen you? Yeah, well, you better be. <gasps> I thought it was... Listen, I want out. Kane knows. He knows. You made that deal with us, Lenny. Let's go. on the dot and the Brazilians heading out just like the man said we're gonna sit tight and tail them okay and here we go with mission three unfortunately mission three is boring to put it blandly basically it introduces the proximity gimmick and this fortunately only appears in three missions but it basically just means you have to sit at a certain, certain distance away from the target. If you get too close or too far away, well, the mission. But in the first one, the guy isn't particularly driving fast. So, if anything, it'll just test your patience, really. as well take the time now to introduce the other guy from that cutscene which was I think his real name is Tobias Jones or Tobias Ugh, I don't even know how Tobias god damn it but he is basically Tanner's right hand man or assistant maybe and I believe he has connections in the um, gang world or, or something like that and those will come into play later on in the game Squeeze up. Yeah. there's an example of me being terrible with the controls but here we are already at the warehouse type thing and that's the end of the mission the video will end at this point here I'll try and keep it to like two missions per video. Although there's going to be three cases later on where it's not going to be like that due to difficulty levels. So that will be all. I will see you in the next video thing. Farewell. <laughs>